what's up everybody thank you for watching my video my previous video in this at this time po is um i-share ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga basics na dapat matutunan natin sa pagpe-play ng violin so in this video is i will um share to you the parts of the violin and how to hold the bow and how to properly um strike the bow when playing in the violin I can only share to you guys the basics that I know because I'm not a pro player. I'm just a beginner. So, ito. So, the size of my violin is straightforward size. The size of the violin, nakabase siya guys kung gaano kataas yung arms mo. At saka, yung finger. Actually, it's in the arms. Kahit adult na ako, pero maliit kasi ako na babae. So, yung arms ko hindi ganun kahaba. So, nag-try ako guys na gumamit ng full size violin, yung 4-4, pero hindi ako komportable talaga. So, nag-shift ako into 3-4 size. So, yan. And then, now let's proceed to the parts of the violin. This is the chain rest. This one. So, dyan. I-rest mo yung chain, kaya chain rest ang tawag sa kanya. And then, this is the F hole. So, dito lalabas yung tunog. F hole. And this is the fine tuner. I've mentioned in my previous video na ginagamit ang fine tuner to tune up, make adjustments on the intonation pag may konting sharp lang or flats. Dito mo siya itutune. And then, this is the string. The, the G string, the D, the A, and the E string. And then, this is the bridge. Maraming classing bridge na nabibili, guys. Iba-iba yung form nila. Ito, gustong-gusto ko itong bridge kasi hindi siya masyadong mahaba. So, pag, so hindi siya masakit pag-pressed sa, sa string. And then, this is the fingerboard. Itong maitim. This is the fingerboard. And this is the peg. So, dito ka mag-tune up. Pag malalaking adjustments talaga sa tone yung gagawin mo, dito mo siya, ito turn mo itong peg na to. Ang violin guys, marami siyang klase at saka maraming kulay. Ito is, gusto ko yung ganito, yung natural. Kasi yung iba may mga different kulay siya. This violin is Maestro. Maestro. Model number MAVK. Size 3. Namin to, nabiliin namin ito sa... A music store dito sa lugar namin. And then, for the bow, okay, dapat, da, dapat guys, meron talagang shoulder rest na wala yung shoulder rest ko. Ang shoulder rest, guys, is, ito na lang, papakita ko sa screen ngayon. Yan, siyang nakikita nyo ngayon sa screen, yan yung shoulder rest. Nilalagay yan dito, guys, para hindi masakit. Lalong-lalo na yung shoulder rest, guys. Importante siya sa yung mga mahaba yung lieg. Kailangan mag-shoulder rest talaga. Pero pag hindi masyadong mahaba ang lieg, okay na kung walang shoulder rest. Ako sana mas comfort, hindi masyadong mahaba ang lieg ko, pero comfortable ako na may shoulder rest. Kaya nagsusot ako ngayon, guys, ng makapal na jacket. Para kahit walang shoulder rest, hindi masakit sa dito na part. Yung iba guys, nilalagyan nila ng makakapal na towel dito bago nila nilalagay yung violin. So, yan. This is the bow. Ang bow this is, is horse hair. Pero actually guys, may mga synthetic, meron ding mga original horse hair. Hindi ko alam itong sa akin if original ba to. And then, um, yung size ng bow, nagmamatch din siya kung ano yung size ng violin mo. If full size, Mas mahaba pa dito yung bow. So, habang palit ng size yung violin, lumiliit din yung bow. And then, this is what we call the frog. Dito mo nilalagay yung hand. So, this is how you handle the violin. Like this. Your thumb should be here. And then, medyo paslant yung fingers. Medyo paslant yung fingers, ganun. And then, kailangan guys, you're able to like turn around or flip. Ano bang tawag dyan? Namumove mo na yung bow sa hand mo. Kaya nalalaman mo kung natama yung paghawak mo. So, hindi ganyan. Hindi ganyan. It should be like this. Yung iba nakikita ko is ganun yung paghawak nila. Okay pa din. As long as you're comfortable or you're able to move the bow on sides. 
Ganyan. And then, dito mo siya ito turn. If you want to loosen the bow, especially if you're done using it, ilulusen mo siya guys. Isa yan sa pag-take care ng bow. You turn here. So, maglulusen siya. Yan. And then, kung gagamitin mo naman, you just tighten it up at magta-tighten yung bow. Yung bow hair. Yeah, yan. Kasi pag hindi tama yung pagka-tight ng bow hair, hindi siya tutunog sa violin mo. And then, this is the tip of the bow. Merong nabibili na bow hair, guys. If mamahalin yung bow mo, tapos nasira na siya, meron akong nalaman na pwede siyang palitan. Pero I think itong sa akin, hindi naman talaga ito mamahalin. So, yan. As a beginner player, guys, hindi talaga kailangan mamahalin agad yung violin mo. May mga violin talaga na maganda na siya as a beginner player. So, marami kang makikita dyan sa mga music store o saan, pero... At saka meron ding mga uh, beginner violin na pangit din sobra. So, meron namang yung mga like this. Hindi naman ito talaga masyadong mamahalin. So, pero ang ganda na ng tunog niya. Okay. So, kung interesado ka sa paglilearn ng violin, um, you buy a quality one na hindi naman talaga ganun kamahal. Marami kang pagpipilian. So, yan. That's all. And then, um, expect more videos about my violin playing. And then, sana meron kayong natutunan sa video na ito. And then, see you on my next video, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, give a like, and share.